The first step to really understanding how to play jazz on the bass is to really get a good handle of the note names on the fretboard and on the fingerboard. So the first assignment that you'll have is to know all of the note names from the open strings right on up the fingerboard. So I want to give you a couple of tips for learning that. Um, in, in jazz, it's really important that we know the name and the placement of the root. That is the key note of every single chord that's played. So knowing the letter names of the fingerboard is really important. Now by now, I'm thinking that all of you know the open strings. The open strings on the bass from highest to lowest are G, D, A, and E. So our first start is just knowing those open strings. Now we need to start thinking about the names of every single fret going on up the, on up the neck of the bass. I'm guessing that by now you've got all of the basics of playing together. I'll maybe mention a couple of things. When you place your finger on the fretboard, you want to place your finger right behind the fret, not too far back in the fret, because you'll get a buzz if you get too far back in the fret. Right up behind the fret on first fret. And we're going to use our first finger on all of these. Second fret, third fret. If we get too far back in, you get that buzzing sound and that's no good. We want to get right up, right behind the fret. Third fret, fourth fret, fifth fret, etc. on all four strings. It's always the same. Now we want to relate the fretboard to a piano keyboard in terms of the note names. Now here's a good little trick to remember the note names. There's always two frets between each letter name except between the letters E and F and the letters B and C. So, from open E to F is just one fret difference or from open to one. But from F to G is two frets. From G to A is two frets. From A to B, also two frets. But, as I said, between B and C, just one fret difference. C. So, the first thing you want to be able to do is to crawl right up the fingerboard with your first finger, with your index finger, and name every single note. We can name the sharps and flats. I like to just go right up and know the, the, essentially the white keys on the piano, the straight notes, the natural notes. So, from open E, open E, first fret is F, G, A, B, C is one fret difference, D, and then when we get to the two dots on the fingerboard, we're back to E again. So we get right on back up to E. We can do that same thing on the A string. A to B is a two fret difference. B to C, that's only one fret. Now, C to D, two frets. D to E, two frets. E to F, one fret. F to G, two frets and G to A, and we're up to the two dots, we're at an octave, we've made it all the way up. We're going to do the same thing on the D string, open D, E, one fret to F, G, A, B, one fret to C, and D, to our octave, and finally, from G, open G, two frets to A, two frets to B, C, D, E, F, one fret, and we're to G. 
Now, a great way to practice this is just to put a drum beat on. We'll put a swing drum beat on. And we're going to play four pulses on every single white key note. And we're just going to play right up the neck on the E string, then the A string, then the D string, and the G string. So, put a drum beat on. Here we go. Ready? E. F. G. A. B. C. D. E. A. B. C. D. E. F. G. A. D. Give it a try. Good luck.